Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share the methods of solving Marilyn series. Let's try for the first method, which is by using the TV diffs. This is the most commonly used method, as mostly all functions can be differentiated. However, we would consider this method only when the function can be differentiated easily or no other methods. For example, e to the power of x sine x, square root of 1 plus x, and so on. These functions can be differentiated easily. I'm going to take the first two functions to illustrate this method. For the first function, as usual, we let fx be equal to the function, which is e to the power of x. At point x is equal to 0, e to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Let's differentiate the function with respect to x, we should obtain e to the power of x. At point x is equal to 0, we have 1 again. Let's differentiate for the second time. We have exponent x again. At point x is equal to 0 is again 1, which means that at any derivative of the function, we always obtain e to the power of x. And at point x is equal to 0 is always equal to 1. And we can now proceed to form the Marilyn series for the function e to the power of x. To form the Marilyn series, very simple. What we have to do here is refer to the value for the corresponding derivative at point x is equal to 0. For example, the first value that we have is 1 and this for 0 order. So we take 0 factorial x to the power of 0. For the next value is also 1, but this is for the first derivative. So we take 1 factorial x to the power of 1. And the next value is also 1, but this is for the second derivative. So we take 2 factorial x to the power of 2. And so for the rest of the values. So we have 1 over 3 factorial x to the power 3 plus 1 over 4 factorial x to the power 4. How many terms should we write here depends on the question. If the question asks for 3 non-zero terms, which means that we should stop at 1 over 2 factorial x to the power 2. On the other hand, if the question asks us to express e to the power x up to the term including x to the power 5, which means that we have to write 1 more more term here which is 1 over 5 factorial x to the power 5 always follow what the question asked and we have so on here and this is equal to 1 plus x plus 1 over 2x squared plus 1 over 6x cubed plus 1 over 24x to the power 4 plus 1 over 120x to the power 5 and so on and this is the Marilyn series for the function e to the power x for the second function also we let fx be equal to the function which is sine x. Also, at point x is equal to 0, we have sine 0, which is equal to 0. Let's differentiate the function with respect to x. Differentiate sine x, we obtain cos x. At point x is equal to 0, cos 0 is equal to 1. Let's differentiate for the second time with respect to x. Differentiate cos x is negative sine x. At point x is equal to 0, we have 0. Differentiate for the third time, differentiate negative sine x is negative cos x. At point x is equal to 0, we have negative 1. As we can see up to this point, we only obtain two non-zero terms. If let's say the question asks for first five non-zero terms, which means that we should differentiate further. Let's continue to differentiate for the fourth time. Differentiate negative cos x is positive sine x. At point x is equal to zero, we have zero. Differentiate for the fifth time, we have cos x. At point x is equal to zero, we have one. Continue to differentiate for the sixth time. Differentiate cos x is negative sine x. At point x is equal to 0, again 0. Differentiate for the seventh time, we have negative cos x. At point x is equal to 0, we have negative 1. Differentiate for the eighth time, we have positive sine x. At point x is equal to 0, we have 0. Differentiate for the ninth time, we have cos x. At point x is equal to 0, we have 1. Since I have obtained 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 non-zero terms, that's I'm I'm going to stop here and form the Marilyn series for the function sine x. Again, refer to the value for the respective 
activity. For the first value, we have 0, but this is for 0 order, which means that we have 0 factorial x power 0. But then, we know that for any value, if we multiply 0, we should obtain 0, which means that we can ignore those terms with 0 and proceed to the non-zero term. For the first non-zero term, we have 1, and this is for the first derivative, so we take 1 factorial x to the power of 1. For the next value, we have negative 1, and this is for the third derivative, x to the power 3. Next value, we have 1, this is for the fifth derivative, so 5 factorial x to the power 5. The next value, negative 1, and this is for the seventh derivative, so 7 factorial x to the power 7. And for the last value that I have here is 1. 1 for the 9 derivative, so 9 factorial x to the power of 9, and so on. Evaluate those values, we should obtain x minus 1 over 6x cubed plus 1 over 120 x to the power of 5 minus 1 over 5040 x to the power of 7 plus 1 over 362,880 x to the power of 9, and so on is the Marilyn series of sine x. The second method I'm going to share in this video is by using substitution. The purpose of using substitution is to make differentiation simpler or to make calculation possible. For example, for the first function, if we let fx be equal to e to the power 1 over x, at point x is equal to 0, we should have e to the power 1 over 0, and this is undefined, since we have e to the power infinity. To overcome this issue, instead of differentiating e to the power 1 over x, why not we let y be equal to 1 over x, which means that we can have the function fy is equal to e to the power y. And from the previous method, we obtain e to the power x is equal to 1 plus x plus 1 over 2x squared plus 1 over 6x cubed plus 1 over 24x to the power 4, and so on for the first five non-zero terms, which means that for the function y, we should have 1 plus y plus 1 over 2y squared plus 1 over 6y cubed plus 1 over 24y to the power 4, and so on. In other words, what we have to do here is just substitute y equal to 1 over x, and this obtain the Marilyn series in a simpler way. On the other hand, for the second function, if we let fx be equal to e to the power x squared, where we differentiate, we should obtain e to the power x squared times 2x. And apparently, we have to apply product rule for at least one time if you have to differentiate further. Therefore, to make life simpler, why not we let y be equal to x squared? In other words, we substitute y is equal to x squared for the Marilyn series that we obtain. Let's substitute and evaluate, and we should obtain 1 plus x squared plus 1 over 2x power 4 plus 1 over 6x power 6 plus 1 over 24x power 8 and so on. And hence, is the Marilyn list for the function e to the power x squared. Method 3, by using the binomial theorem. This can be applied for any binomial of the form 1 plus kx to the power of n, the whole thing to the power of m. And this method would be simpler as compared to the conventional method, that is, by using derivatives. Let's try. We know that square root of 1 plus 3x squared could also be written as 1 plus 3x squared the whole thing to the power of 1 over 2, and we can now apply the binomial theorem. If you don't have formula list, or do not wish to refer to the formula, to form binomial expansion, very simple. Always start with the value 1, and we plus the power 1 over 2 times the term here, that is 3x squared. And for the next term, take the power 1 over 2 times the power itself minus 1. Since we have two terms here, so divided by 2 factorial. Again, take the term 3x squared. Since we have 2 factorial, so we take 2 squared. Continue for the next term, we have 1 over 2, 1 over 2 minus 1. After minus 1, we should have 1 over 2 minus 2. And this time, we have 3 
terms so 3 factorial and 3x squared to the power of 3 and for the next term repeat the same manner we have 1 over 2 1 over 2 minus 1 followed by 1 over 2 minus 2 and 1 over 2 minus 3 4 terms so 4 factorial 3x squared to the power of 4 and so on let's evaluate those values and we shall obtain 1 plus 3 over 2x squared minus 9 over 8x to the power of 4 plus 27 over 16 x to the power of 6 minus 405 divided by 128 x to the power of 8 and so on. The next method that I'm going to show is the long division or multiplication which I will applicate. This method can be applied for any functions that is in the form of fx divided by gx or fx times gx where fx and gx x can be expressed in the form of Marilyn series or polynomials. For the first example, we have 1 over 1 plus x squared. Since both the numerator and the denominator are polynomials for 0 and 2nd degree respectively, which means that we can apply the long division since we have quotient here. So we should take 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. And the rules of thumb of applying long division is always reduce the first term to 0. To obtain 0, we should take 1 times 1 equal to 1. So when we minus, we obtain 0. Don't forget to multiply the rest of the terms. So we take 1 times positive x squared, we obtain positive x squared. When we minus, we obtain minus x squared. So which means that the next term that we should have here is minus x squared times 1 equal to minus x squared. So when we minus, we obtain 0. Continue to multiply the rest of the terms and we obtain minus x to the power of 4. So when we minus, we obtain positive x to the power of 4. So the next term is positive x power 4. Multiply, we obtain x power 4 plus x power 6. Simplify, we obtain negative x power 6. So the next term is minus x power 6. Multiply, we obtain minus x power 6 minus x power 8. So the next term, we should have x power 8. Since I have obtained 5 non-zero terms, so I'm going to stop here, which means that the Marilyn series of 1 over 1 plus x squared is equal to 1 minus x squared plus x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 8 and so on. For the second function, since it's in the form of a product, so I'm going to use multiplication for this case. Recall that we have obtained the Marilyn series for 1 plus 3x squared to the power 1 over 2 by using binomial theorem. So I'm going to bring the series here and the next step is to expand. So we should have 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 1 times 3 over 2x squared is equal to 3 over 2x squared. 1 times negative 9 over 8x power 4 is equal to minus 9 over 8x to the power 4. 1 times 27 over 16x to the power 6 is equal to positive 27 over 16x to the power 6. And the next term we have minus 450 5, 128 x to the power of 8. Continue to expand and this time I'm going to take x times 1 and we should obtain positive x. The next term we have x times 3 over 2 x squared which is 3 over 2 x to the power of 3. And the next term we have minus 9 over 8 x to the power of 5. Since by referring to the powers of the variable x in ascending order is enough for me to form the Marilyn series for the first 5 non-zero terms so i'm going to stop here and rearrange the terms so which means that we should have 1 plus x plus 3 over 2x squared plus 3 over 2x cubed minus 9 over 8x to the power 4 and this is the first fine non-zero terms for the Marilyn series of the function the last method i'm going to share in this video is by using 
integration. This method is usually be applied when obtaining the Marilyn series for the first derivative is much easier as compared to the function itself. For example, for the first function, we let fx be equal to our tangent x. At point x is equal to 0, we have 0. If we differentiate with respect to x, we obtain 1 over 1 plus x squared. If we differentiate further, we might have to either apply quotient rule or product rule. But from the previous method, we learned that if both the numerator and the denominator are of the form of polynomials, we can apply long division and thus obtain the Marilyn series 1 minus x squared plus x to the power 4 minus x to the power 6 plus x to the power 8 and so on. And we know that if we differentiate the function with respect to x, we should obtain the first derivative. In our device, we can integrate both sides with respect to x. Therefore, what we have to do here is just integrate the Marilyn series of the first derivative. And we obtain x minus x squared, where we integrate always power plus 1 over power plus 1. And so for the rest of the terms. And don't forget that, since this is integration, so which means that we should add the constant c. But what is the value of this constant? The very we can refer to the value of the function at point s is equal to 0, which is equal to 0, which means that we can ignore c for this case. Let's evaluate the values and we shall obtain x minus x cubed divided by 3 plus x to the power 5 divided by 5 minus x to the power 7 divided by 7 plus x to the power 9 divided by 9 and so on is the Marilyn series for the function of tangent x. And the last example I'm going to show in this video is arc sine x. So let fx be equal to the function arc sine x. At point x is equal to 0, we have 0. If we differentiate the function with respect to x, we should obtain 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared, which can also be written as 1 minus x squared to the power of negative 1 over 2. Instead of differentiate this function, I'm going to apply binomial theorem since this is in the form of binomial. Again, by using the same method, firstly, start with 1 and we plus the power negative 1 over 2 times the term negative x squared plus the next term power negative 1 over 2 and we should take the power minus 1 two terms here, so 2 factorial negative x squared to the power of 2. For the next term, we have negative 1 over 2 times negative 1 over 2 minus 1, negative 1 over 2 minus 2, 3 terms, 3 factorial, negative x squared to the power 3. And the next term, we have negative 1 over 2, negative 1 over 2 minus 1, negative 1 over 2 minus 2, and negative 1 over 2 minus 3. 4 terms, so 4 factorial, negative x squared to the power 4, and so on. Let's evaluate. So we have 1 plus 1 over 2x squared plus 3 over 8x to the power 4 plus 5 over 16x to the power 6 plus 35 divided by 128x to the power 8 and so on. And now we can obtain the Marilyn series for the function arc sine x by using integration. And we have x plus 1 over 6x cubed plus 3 over 40x to the power 5 plus 5 over 112x to the power 7 plus 35 over 1152x to the power 9 and so on. Again, remember to add the constant c, but then c is equal to 0, which means that again we can ignore the constant c, and hence we're done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.